Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I wanna to show you how you can include background music in your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. And with background music, you can have it play across slides. So when you jump from one slide to the next, the music will continue playing. Now you can use background music for all types of things. Maybe you're pulling together a slideshow of photos from a recent family vacation and you wanna elicit a little bit more emotional response from your slideshow, music can help. Or maybe at work you hit some fantastic numbers and you're going to be presenting them to your VP. Maybe you could elicit a tear from your VP by including some music. Whatever your reason, it's extremely easy to do. First off, I'm gonna show you how you can get background music in. And once we do that, I'll show some advanced tips and tricks for how you can manipulate the music or the audio that you insert into your presentation. All right, well, let's jump to it. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft PowerPoint open. This is the latest and greatest version that comes with Microsoft 365. Even if you're using an older version, you should be able to follow along. I have a photo slideshow that I recently pulled together from a family vacation and I think including audio can really elevate the quality of this photo slideshow. Have you ever watched a movie before where you've removed the soundtrack from the film? It doesn't have nearly as much impact and I believe the same applies to my slideshow, especially when I show it to friends and family. Luckily, it's really easy to include background music as part of a PowerPoint presentation. And to get background music in, we need to go up to the top ribbon and we need to click on insert. We are going to insert audio. When I click on insert, I can insert all types of different things. The one I care about though is over on the far right hand side under me the media category under audio. Let's click on that. This exposes a drop down list and I have two options. I can include audio on my PC or I can also record audio. I already have an existing song that's on my PC, so let's click on audio on my PC. This opens up the Windows file picker and using the file picker, navigate to where you have the song stored on your computer. In my case, I have the song English Country Garden sitting right on my desktop. I'm gonna select the song and then click on insert. I now have the audio file included on the main slide of my presentation, but I'm not done quite yet. If I jump into slideshow mode, I'll show you why. To jump into slideshow mode, we could go up to the top ribbon, click on slideshow and click on from beginning, or alternatively, we can press the F5 key. I'm gonna press F5. This jumps us into the presentation and you might notice that the music doesn't just automatically start playing. I'd like it to start playing automatically. To start playing the music, we could hover over this icon and then click on the play button. All right, well, we got the music playing. That's a step in the right direction. The only downside now is if I jump to the next slide, you'll see that the music stops playing. That's no good. Let's go back to the slide. I'm gonna click on escape and that brings me back to my presentation. I'm gonna go back up to the first slide and to get it to play automatically, we need to make some adjustments. Let's click on the audio icon and when we click on this object, up on the top ribbon, you'll see that two additional options appear. One of them is audio format, the other is playback. I'm gonna walk through everything that you could do in these, but first off, I wanna show you how you can get your music to just start playing automatically across all your slides. And to do that, let's click on the option that says playback. When we click on playback, this exposes the playback ribbon, and there are all sorts of controls here. The one we care about though is over on the far right hand side and it says play in background. When I click on this, you'll see that it makes a whole bunch of setting adjustments over here, but we're pretty much all set to go. So back on our slide, once again, let's jump into presentation mode and I'm gonna press F5 to do that. Look at that, we've got the music automatically start playing. Now what happens if I jump to the next slide? Does it continue playing? Look at that, wow, this is great. So we have our photo uh, slideshow now with music playing in the background and it'll continue playing again and again and it'll even loop the song if it reaches the end of the song until you reach the very end of the slideshow. 
Now that we've gone through and we've gotten the background music to play throughout the entire slideshow, I want to show some advanced ways that you can manipulate the audio that you inserted. To do that, let's go back up to the first slide in our presentation, and once again, let's click on the audio icon. This exposes two options on the ribbon. Let's go to audio format first. Now, audio format is a little bit of a deceptive name because you're not really formatting the audio. Instead, what you're doing is you're formatting the audio icon. For instance, I could apply different corrections, like adjusting the brightness of the audio icon. I could apply different colors to it. I could apply different artistic effects to it. I could even apply a different picture, and I could set different picture styles. So all it's doing is it's adjusting the icon. To be able to manipulate the audio, all of that functionality sits on the ribbon under the playback option. Let's click into playback. When I click on playback, this exposes a whole bunch of different tools that I can use to modify my audio. Now before you get too excited, the manipulation tools are pretty limited, but you do have some very handy controls. Let's start off on the far left hand side. First off, we could preview our audio. Over to the right, there's the option to add a bookmark. So what can you do with a bookmark? Well, let's say that the beginning of the song is a little boring. If I go down here to the progress bar for the song, maybe I want it to start at 30 seconds, so I'll click right at the 30 second mark. Once I do that, I could go back up to the ribbon and then I can add a bookmark. You'll see when I clicked on add bookmark, it adds a yellow dot at this point in the song. So if I go back and let's say I play again and I really wanna skip forward, I could click on the bookmark and that'll jump me forward in the song. Now when I hover over the bookmark down here, you'll see that there are some handy shortcut keys. If I press Alt Home, that'll go to the previous chapter. If I press Alt End, that'll go to the next bookmark. So let's just test this out and see how that works using shortcut keys. So let's say I start playing at the beginning and I press Alt End, that jumps to the next bookmark and I can go back to the beginning by pressing Alt Home. That's a nice way, especially if you have some longer audio, you can jump forward to the next portion or you could jump back to the previous portion. Not only can you add bookmarks, there are some additional tools on top as well. You can trim the audio. So when I click on trim, this allows me to set the start point and it allows me to set the end point. I like including the entire song, so I'm gonna set it to the very end of the song and I'm gonna set it to the very, very beginning of the song. Once again, I see a little dot within here and that indicates where I have a bookmark set. Back on the playback ribbon, a few other options, I could set a fade duration. So let's say that you cut off the song early, rather than just having it cut off, which is very noticeable, instead you could have it fade out gradually. As we go over on the ribbon, you can set the audio of the music that you insert. For instance, you could have it low, medium, high. By default, it's set to high and you can even mute it. Now over here, we have a whole bunch of different audio options. Let's click on the start dropdown. Now first off, with start, you can set it to start by click. You could just have it start automatically or you could have it start when clicked on. So depending on how you want your music to begin, you can select right here. There's another option here to play across slides. With our background music, we have this playing across slides. You can set it to loop until stopped. It's a good idea if maybe your slideshow is running long or people are asking questions about the different pictures that you featured, you can have the music loop again once it finishes playing the initial song. The next option here is hide during show. What this means is I have this audio icon that appears in the center of my slide. I prefer to not have this appear as part of my slide presentation. So if you check this box, it'll simply hide that control when you go into presentation mode. Next, you could set it to rewind after playing. It's like old VHS tapes where you rewind it before bringing it back to the store. In this case, because it's gonna loop until stopped, rewinding doesn't make a difference. But if you have it so it's set to not loop until stopped, then at the very end, you could simply have it jump back to the beginning. Now earlier we could click this play in background button. If I click back here, no style, that'll remove all the different settings or changes that I made to my audio. If I click back on play in background, you'll see one thing that it does is it simply selects all these different options for me. Now PowerPoint previously had these different audio options and you had the ability to set music so it would play across slides, but you had to know which boxes to check, which option to check in the drop down menu. So Microsoft has made it easier by simply 
simply including a button that says play in background and it'll configure all these different settings for you so it helps simplify your life. Now what do you think about this presentation? I think it turned out pretty nicely. The next thing I could do to make it even better is I could include some animations, maybe some zoom or maybe some pans, and I've got some great pictures, I've got some amazing music, and this is a pretty good product now. I feel like I could share this with friends and family and I think they'd be pretty impressed. All right, well, that was a quick look at how you can include background music as part of your PowerPoint presentation. If this video helped you learn how to insert music as part of your presentation, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future with other helpful tips and tricks, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. That's how I build my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.